A person's zodiac sun sign does not always accurately define friendship. There are some that do work together even when it seems like they shouldn't because astrology says that their signs are incompatible. Our zodiac signs don't always tell the full story, nor do they limit who you can be friends with. They're just suggestions based on personality types. All that matters is whether or not your friendship is mutually beneficial. It's nice to have a best friend to talk about your deepest and darkest thoughts, share your happiest memories and funniest stories with. But friends are never there to judge or criticize. They are there to uplift and encourage each other. Of course, each zodiac sign matches with each other because they're so similar. They easily understand each other and have the same mannerisms and personality. Here are some zodiac pairs that would be immediate friends from the get-go. Aries and Leo. These friends would be comfortable with each other, but dominant zodiac signs like Aries and Leos may clash too frequently to work. Taurus and Leo. These dominant personalities are more compatible with a more docile personality, such as a Taurus, who needs someone in charge, which a Leo would easily fill because they desire leadership and to be in the spotlight. Sagittarius and Gemini. A Sagittarius and a Gemini create the best relationship between friends. Both are humorous and adventurous, they also have an insatiable curiosity. Leo and Scorpio. A Leo and a Scorpio are great best friends because they are both stubborn, assertive, and they don't like being treated like they're on the outside. A Scorpio balances out a Leo because a Scorpio is calm, cool, and collected, while Leo can be a bit of a hothead and arrogant. On the other side of the fence, here are a couple of zodiac signs that would make the worst friends. Cancer and Sagittarius. A Cancer and a Sagittarius would not make good friends because a Cancer is very clingy, while a Sagittarius loathes clingy people because it resembles the idea of being tied down, which, since they are so free-spirited, is not a desired attachment. Virgo and Sagittarius A Virgo and a Sagittarius cannot be friends because a Virgo is more analytical, stuffy, overly critical of oneself and shy, whereas a Sagittarius is open, curious, enthusiastic, and like an Energizer Bunny. A Sagittarius is very humorous, so a Virgo probably wouldn't understand the humor. Libra and Aquarius Libras and Aquariuses would never work as friends because an Aquarius wants to be alone all of the time, whereas a Libra loves being surrounded by people. Taurus and Aquarius An Aquarius and a Taurus would be bad friends because a Taurus is very much into material and superficial things while being highly emotional whereas an Aquarius likes to ponder bigger questions while being alone. A Taurus is very connected with his or her emotional side, while an Aquarius runs from anything that even resembles emotions. Scorpio and Aquarius The pairing, Aquarius and Scorpio, would not work well together as friends, because an Aquarius is more methodical and analytical, while a Scorpio is very in tune with their emotions. This is a bad thing for this pairing because an Aquarius runs from emotions. They both like hanging out with friends, but an Aquarius is much more reserved and would rather be alone than with a group. Don't ever give into a relationship because if you don't pair well with someone, the friendship can easily turn toxic. These are only a few pairs that could either make really good friends or a few pairs that could never ever be friends, but the possibilities are endless. Well, that's a wrap. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe to your tango for more on your zodiac sign.